Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tiny Herd where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small animals. I had you guys send me your cages for your guinea pigs and rabbits so that I could do a review because this was highly requested. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you guys some of the submissions I received and doing a little review on each one. So I'm just going to go in order of receiving them and we'll get through as many as we can. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is the first submission from Abby. She said this is home to her two male guinea pigs, Bear and Simba. The enclosure is 7.7 .7 feet long by 5.1 feet wide. So that is really all the information that I have, but honestly, that's really the only information that we need. This is a great picture. Um, this looks like a great enclosure. It's nice and big. You can see she uses fleece. It looks like it's kept nice and clean. The hay is contained in a litter box. This is really just a great enclosure, especially for just two pigs. Literally the only thing I would say is maybe put a couple Heidi's in the middle just to make them feel more secure. But honestly, guinea pigs that are comfortable and get really comfortable in their space and with their humans, really some of them are just not scared. So that could just depend on the pigs. Really, this is a great enclosure and a great example of a great way to keep two little guinea pigs. Alright, so next up is Piggy Time. You may know from YouTube, I will link their channel down below. But she says this is the enclosure for her two boars, Scribble and Ty. It is 7 square foot loft area with a 28 square foot bottom grid area. It has a tall fence around it so her dogs can't get to the piggies and then you can see it has a combination of guinea dad liners and fleece blankets. It really looks great. Um, I am interested to try out guinea dad liners for myself to see how pigs like them but I think it looks pretty good. Um, I don't really have any recommendations to be honest. It, I would normally say, like I said in the last one, maybe put some tunnels in the middle, but with the guinea dad liners that gives them a little pocket to hide in. So really this is a great enclosure. I like how you have the uh, Heidi's underneath the ramp to support it. I think that's a really good idea. And overall I think this is a pretty good enclosure here. Next up we have Ava. She is getting a rabbit soon. She said she got this hutch, which is 45 inches long by 17 inches wide. She did realize that this does not meet the minimum housing requirements for a rabbit, so her plan is to keep her bunny in this while it's a baby and it doesn't need as much space, and then get it new housing when it outgrows this space. She did also say she got a big pen to give the rabbit some extra space as well, and the rabbit is going to get free range time in her bunny proofed room. So my suggestion would just be to, it's good that you realize that this is not going to be enough space. I would think about how much time you're going to be able to give your rabbit outside of its cage because giving it enough space for exercise and to stretch out and all of that is really important. It also does depend on what size rabbit you're getting. If you're getting a mini breed rabbit, they might be fine in this for short periods of the day. Um, but really, I would see what you could do to give your rabbit as much space as possible. Is it possible to free range your rabbit in your room all the time? Um, but that would be my main suggestion. Obviously, space is an issue. It looks like you have a hay rack. Just make sure that you have the basics, hay rack, Heidi's, good safe bedding, um, all of that good stuff. Um, and I would suggest using a water dish, not a um, bottle. So those are really my suggestions there. She said she did a lot of research, so there's a lot that we don't know from these pictures, of course. So that would just be my main suggestion. It's good that you realize that this is not really what should be long term for your bunny. So I think that is good. But yeah, just keep doing research and do everything that you can to provide the things that your rabbit needs. Okay, next up we have Autumn. She provided this great video, and she also said this cage is for her three girls, Marshmallow, Peanut, and Pepper. She recently bonded Pepper with the other two. So she said her cage is two Midwest cages attached together on top of tables with storage underneath. She did also say she has two water bottles, um, and I will link her YouTube channel down below as well. 
but from these pictures and the video, it looks like this setup is pretty good. The combining the two Midwest cages was a really good idea. It gives them plenty of space, especially for three. It was good you added a second water bottle. I usually add one water bottle per pig just so that there's no fighting. Um, I like your little hay and kitchen area at one end. Probably contains your hay better than, you know, a hay bag or a hay rack, kind of keeping it in one area. I don't think there's anything that I would really add to this. Um, it looks pretty good. You have plenty of Heidi's. It looks like you use fleece liners and that looks great. I hope you have a good experience with your bonding. Your piggies are really cute and your enclosure looks great. So keep up the good work. Next up we have Abby from Little Paws. This was when she just had Clover and Rosie, her two female guinea pigs. The enclosure is 20 square foot CNC cage and she uses towels and fleece for bedding. So I think this cage looks pretty good. It's definitely big enough for two female guinea pigs or two male guinea pigs for that matter. Um, they have hay, they have two water bottles. She said there's a pellet dish up on the loft. I like that you have plenty of Heidi's. I like the blanket covering it to act as another kind of dark hidden area. Um, I think that's a really good idea to give them more security. I'm impressed that you have that PVC pipe in there and it doesn't roll away. My pigs would definitely roll themselves away in that because they are special sometimes. Um, I don't really have any major suggestions. It looks like you did a good job um, stabilizing the loft. The only thing is I can't tell from the picture you might already have this done, but for the ramp up into the loft, if that's just CNC grids covered with fleece, I would put some kind of solid material down. But other than that, it looks pretty good. It looks like your piggies are enjoying it and it has everything that they need. Next up, we have Piggies World. So this whole entire setup houses four female guinea pigs. Dasher, Reese's, and Pebbles all live in a 5x2, and then Delilah lives in a separate 3x2. You can see all of those here in this picture. Um, Delilah is separated just because she doesn't get along with the others and then had some health problems. So probably good that she is separate from the sounds of that. Health problems can be even bigger problems if they don't get separated and the other pigs bother them. This setup looks great. This is like the ultimate CNC cage setup. Really great idea to have the coroplast be higher in the back so that stuff doesn't fall back behind the cages. It makes it way harder to clean. I know from experience, looks like you're using fleece correctly. There are water dishes in the cages. There's plenty of hay and Heidi's. Delilah has plenty of space and Heidi's even though she's alone. I do really like that you use the clear grids so that she can see them as well. I have seen with my own pigs that when they can see each other, it at least gives them that interaction with the pigs next to them, even if they can't be with them. This looks really great, and I really like the added little detail of having their names above each cage. So, really, really great job. This is a really great example of a CNC cage. We have Carly's cage next. She said, I am 12 years old. I have two male guinea pigs, Snickers and Cookie. They live in two combined Midwest cages. They have hides, two water bottles, two bowls, litter box, toys, hay rack. And she said she has some other stuff that's also not in the cage. So looking at this cage overall, this is a really good setup. They have multiple water bottles, which is good for more than one pig. It looks like you're using uh, fleece bedding. They have plenty of hay. I'm impressed if they actually use the litter box because guinea pigs are notorious for not actually using a litter box, so good job if they're doing that. The only suggestions I really have are I would add some more Heidi's just to give them, you know, more places to hide. With two pigs, they would like to have some options, so I would just give them a couple more Heidi's and tunnels, more things for them to feel secure, and that will probably give you a little bit more outgoing pigs because when they feel more secure and safe in their cage then they are a little bit more outgoing and interactive. I also would make sure that the Christmas lights don't have the guinea pigs don't have any access to those. It doesn't really look like they have access but I would just double check my guinea pigs would chew that up in a second if they could get a hold of it so 
I would make sure they can't reach that, can't reach any of the plugs that are behind the cage as well. Overall though, really good setup. Um, they have all of the basics that they need and they definitely have enough space for two piggies with two combined Midwest cages. So overall good job and just a couple suggestions there. Next up we have Jessica. So she did give me dimensions for her guinea pig cage. It is a combination of a pet store cage and a run and it houses her two guinea pigs, one male and one female. So when I ran the sizes that she gave me of this cage, it is big enough for two guinea pigs with the combination of the run. So that is great that you added on the run space for the guinea pigs. So normally I would say don't even bother with pet store cages, but the way that she expanded the space is really great in this situation. I like that the pet store cage area is kind of like their kitchen area. They have plenty of hay, they have water, um, they have an easy in and out ramp for that area as well. And then that works as a really good hidey space with the cover over the top. So I actually really like the way that this was set up and expanded. So she did also say that they are recently bonded, which is why there are not a lot of Heidi's, which is totally understandable. That is a good call when bonding. I generally just give them tunnels like this as well that are easy in and out so no one gets in a fight over a Heidi. So um, it sounds like you know what you're doing there with normally needing more Heidi's in the cage. Again, Normally I say no to pet store cages, but I think you've done a really good job taking a small cage and turning it into a really good space for your guinea pigs. I'm also impressed that you have it going underneath the bed there because that seems like a huge pain in the butt to clean, but also a good hiding space for the pigs. So good job taking a pet store cage and turning it into a good space for your guinea pigs. Next up we have Emma. She said this houses her two guinea pigs, Poppy and Pixie. She said it's an eight square foot cage and recently switched to fleece. She also regularly switches out the hide that is inside as well. So a couple things with this setup. I would make sure that that cage is actually eight square feet. I am not aware of any pet store cage other than the Midwest that is the suitable size for two guinea pigs so I would just make sure that it is actually eight square feet. Um, I would do whatever I could to probably give them more space. The more space you can give them the better off they're going to be. This is if it is eight square feet that is the bare minimum for two pigs but I would give them more. There's not going to be a lot of space for them to get around each other and stretch out and run around that sort of thing in this cage. I would also give them more Heidi's. I know they have that little area to go under, but you really want to have multiple Heidi's so pigs have options and so that they're not fighting over space or fighting over places to sleep. I would probably also move the water bottle to not be over the hay and then give them a little bit more hay. Um, the water's just going to make the hay wet and moldy and they're not going to want to eat it as much, so I would just shift that somewhere else and then give them a big pile of hay there. Um, so good job making sure they have hay, that they have water. I would probably add another water bottle as well. They do have bare minimum here in terms of they have a hiding space, they have hay, they have water, um, but I would just work to try to give them a little bit more space, um, maybe give them a run attached to their cage if you could, and just make a couple little tweaks here and there. It sounds like your pigs get a lot of attention and they have a pretty good life. So I would just work on tweaking those couple of things to give them the best life they can have. Next up we have the two little pigs. This cage houses two guinea pigs, Gary and John. So this is a really neat little cage. I will say I apologize for the quality of these pictures. For some reason coming from my phone to my computer they got really kind of blurry but you guys can see the general overview. So the main area is their main cage. They have a nice little shavings area underneath their hay rack and their kind of little kitchen area. So that's really good. Um, it looks like they have a water bottle down at the bottom. Oh, they have multiple water bottles. So they have plenty of water bottles. They have a nice little hay area. I like your DIY hay rack idea. I have one of those for my bunnies. Looks like they have a good amount of Heidi's there. 
I'm impressed that you're able to keep the shavings area so clean. I would probably just have a meltdown with that because shavings would get everywhere. But it looks like you're using a good combination of shavings and fleece. So, so far, nothing that I would really change. Um, they said in their post to me that they filled up the hay rack right after these pictures were taken. So, I'm not worried about that. Looks like they get plenty of hay and everything they're supposed to have. I don't have any suggestions for this area. In the next photo, you can see there's kind of a little walkway for a, another little space for the pigs. This will really depend on the personality of your pigs, but I would probably not have this small of a space for pigs to go through. This could lead to an argument or a fight if two pigs are trying to go opposite directions, but again, that really depends on the personality of your pigs. My pigs, I probably just would not do this because they tend to argue anyways. But you can also see that there's a nice big floor time area as well. So honestly, if it was me, I would probably just make the floor time space part of their cage and just have one huge enclosure space. But I get the idea of wanting to have like a separate space to give them, you know, some more enrichment and another space to go. So you could just take out that little section to the side with the little walkway and have one whole section be floor time and one whole section be the cage. But again, depends on your pigs. It's up to you. That's really the only suggestion that I would have. Other than that, it looks like you're doing great with fleece. They have plenty of Heidi's and they have everything that they need. So good job on your cage setup. So last enclosure in this video is actually a bunny free roam setup. So this is for Kanye West. He is a lion head cross. So this setup looks really good. Um, I see a pellet dish. I see a water dish. There's hay in the litter box. Litter box setup looks good. I think you did a really good job incorporating all of the things that Bunny needs in a common space in your living space. Not a lot of people incorporate their rabbit into their actual living space. They'll have like a separate pet room even if they free roam. I really like that you have floor level windows and doors because I think it would be really funny to see a bunny just sitting looking out the window. Um, I'm sure you're cautious going in and out of the door with bunny being free, free roam. I mean, that's pretty well, even if you had dogs and cats, you have to be careful of that sort of thing. So I'm sure you're aware of that. I can see multiple Heidi's. There are toys. It looks pretty well bunny proofed. I don't see any loose cords or anything that could harm bunny. So I think you've done a really good job with this setup. The only suggestion I would have is maybe consider getting your bunny a friend. They really should be in pairs. They do a lot better in pairs. So I would really consider that. I do like that you got the little bunny stuffed animal in the Heidi that it can lay with because some bunnies really respond well to that. So that is a nice touch, but that is really the only suggestion that I have for your setup. He is adorable. This is Kanye West, if I didn't already say that, and he's absolutely adorable. So good job on your bunny setup. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thank you so so much if you sent in a setup for me to review. This was a really fun video to edit because I got to see so many different setups. So thank you guys so much for making it possible. Any of the submissions that have YouTube channels will be linked down below in the description box and I will see you guys next week for another video. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!